Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Hi. I'm Laura. And I'm Hanna. And today we are going to do Weaver Request. This is like four years late, but we are going to explode truck tires. These here, overfill them until they explode. And we have professional tire shop here in Orimattila. It's Pommiatka Tire Shop, the best shop in the city or the whole country. Yeah, what you, uh, what is like, let's make a guess. What happens to our tire shop? Oh, oh no, I think, I think it's going to be really bad. I think the walls are going to be still standing. Maybe we no. lose the calendars or something. <laughs> and we didn't want to make the roof there because that would make it super dark. And we are filming with two high speed cameras today to get maximum detail. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to start from the smaller tires and work way, our way up to these. Yeah, let's go. Okay, here is the uh, filling setup. We have scuba air compressor. Then we have hydraulic line. This is good, it takes the pressure, but it's bad because it's not designed for air. I assume that there might be some oil fumes or something, so it might explode if it gets on fire because the oxygen pressure is going to be stupidly high. Then we have this professional adapter because the typical like uh, thing with spring clip here I'm afraid that it's going to leak and you are not able to go check does it leak so we want to be sure that it doesn't leak so we have just this hose some clamps that are really tight and I calculated that with 80 bars there is 40 kilos pulling this away and it takes way more than that to like pull this off. So this is really good. Then we have our uh, pray for stupid worker here doing some uh, work. I have no idea what he's doing. But yeah, this is this is the this is the first first test here. And our compressor generates three liters per minute at 300 bars, so it's 30 bars. That's 30 liters per minute. So I assume that this goes in a couple minutes and the bigger tires going to take a bit longer. And probably don't try this at home. Uh, the scuba compressor isn't designed for that. Hydraulic hose isn't designed for this. The tires are not designed for this. Anything is not designed for this. So this is a bit dangerous, but we are inside of our bunker. So if anything goes to shit, it doesn't matter. Okay, we decided to play it safe and we put the excavator bucket on front of the compressor, so it's going to be okay. Okay, we are ready. I'm going to be behind this, so I'm not going to get hit. And here is the high speed. I have monochrome and color. Kompora työntää 300. Vettä käy. Oh! 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 tuho tuolla on käynyt. Missä miehen pää? Okay, here is the like end result the uh, tire it just snapped there first it looked like it's just like getting loose from the rim but there's so much mist that it's hard to say what happens and that was like 10 meters on that direction and the head of the uh, guy was like 20 meters on that direction <laughs> and then, this was pretty eventful the rim <laughs> flew like into the wall and went like 10 meters there. And the rim is completely okay. It didn't do any damage. But yeah, 
it was 50 bars, way more than we thought. I would say like 25 or something. And it took quite long time, so it's going to be probably like half an hour to hour to fill up the truck tire and it's going to be dangerous as hell. So we definitely go inside to our bunker again. Okay, we are ready for the next one. I predict that it's like five to ten times larger volume on this one. So it's going to be a lot more mayhem. I thought that it's going to be much stronger also because it's a truck tire and it says 8.5 bars but the previous one was so strong and this is going to probably take like one hour to pump up and it's 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 like it's like real deal like probably like one meter tall really wide yeah so add the second worker because it's now like harder work because it's bigger tire so this is going to be total mayhem and I think the walls are going to go down <laughs> Okay, it's been like half an hour. We are behind the concrete bunker. And uh, it's really exciting. There is now 45 bars, so about the same amount that uh, last one took before the explosion. Uh, Hanna, how you would rate the explosion like, compared to dynamite? Ah, well it was almost safe, I think. It was quite nice. Yeah, I would say like it was like half a kilo of dynamite there. Ah. <laughs> like it was because the, uh, it was such a surprise when it uh, exploded. Yeah, because yeah, you never know. It might like go just now. Uh. And yeah, and uh, I have my high speed trigger there. Uh, I can show and there are the cameras and there are the thing. Okay, here is the situation. <laughs> it went again through the wall. Both of the workers are down. But the walls are still here. How did this break? It looks pretty good. Huh? Ah. Here is damage. Where the hell the rim went? Holy shit, it's there. There is stuff from the table. Hey, that went fast. Holy shit. Holy shit, it, it, it hit there and then Rico said there. I can't see any like jumps there. It's been like absolutely ballistic. It flew like 20 meters. Yeah, if you stand here, you are going to die. And here are the high speed cameras. First one is Kronos 2.1. And there is so much air coming out from that tire that it just destroys the calendars. And I think our uh, sitting worker would, I think, I think you would be dead just from the pressure. It doesn't seem to affect the standing guy so much. But yeah, looks really nice. And uh, next summer we are going to have the 4K Kronos. So it's going to look even nicer on the next try. And here is 1.4 monochrome running really fast. And with this one it doesn't look really pretty. But since it's running so fast, we can clearly see how it gives up. So the just tire edge just comes out from the rim from the force being applied there yeah but this was really great experiment and 
This is like I'm on my summer vacation and I thought that this is going to be worth of my time even on vacation and that was true. This was excellent and we are really hyped up about the uh, uh, like the whole process. So if you have bigger tires in Finland, please let me know. We have ideas how we can fill this a bit faster and safer. And uh, we are going to definitely scale this one up. So subscribe to the channel to see that. Check out our merch. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Hey, what's the, what's the verdict? Was it good? It was very good. It was very, very good.